that. Oh no, it's a bomb. What should I do? You want to blow up that amazing pig bomb? Then follow that tutorial. You need an Arduino Nano, a 7 segment display, cables, a buzzer, 8 header pins, 2 magnets, touchpad, a battery box, and at least a perf board. Take the Arduino and push it into the proof board, not directly in the middle. Solder it to the proof board. You can see it sits perfect. Solder 8 header pins from D9 to D2 to the PCB. should look like this. Now take the battery box and solder the red wire to win and the black wire to ground. Prepare the two cables for soldering. After soldering should look like this. Solder the PCB to D30 and ground. Prepare two cables for the buzzer and solder them to the buzzer. Shrink the shrink cables. Now your PCB should look like this. Now we prepare the 7 segment display to solder to the PCB. VCC 5 volt ground to ground, DIN to D10, CS to D11 and clock to D12. Now you have to desolder the pins of the 7 segment display. It takes some time. Here you can see how it should look like solder pipe cables to the 7 segment display and after that soldered to the PCB now the PCB looks like this solder 2 cables to 5 volt and to A0 cut two cables for soldering. Prepare only one side to solder to the PCB. Now take a vise to clamp the PCB in and take a saw to cut it to size.
and see how I designed the case in Fusion 360. print every part I design. Now we have the 3D printed parts and the soldered parts. Take the back side and the pencil and the PCB and set it to the side with the header pins down. Now mark the place where you want to drill the holes. You need a 4mm drill to make the holes in the PCB. Your holes should look like this. Drill a hole at the front cover at the marked place. Cut the black cable of the battery box. We cut the cable because we need a switch between the battery box and the Arduino. Feed the cables through the switch hole. Solder the switch to the cables. Now take some screws and drill the PCB to the back side. The next step is to glue the Switch with a hot glue gun to the back side. Now cut the cables from the beginning through the holes at the front cover and tape them there. Take the 7 segment display and some tape to secure the 7 segment display at the front side. Now take the hot glue gun and glue the 7 segment display in place. Now take the buzzer and put it to the place, to the round place at the top and again take the hot glue gun and put around Put it around the buzzer at every spot. Now we secure the touchpad. Feed the touchpad through the hole at the bottom and push it at the header pins we soldered before. 
it's sometimes a little bit hard but you can do this the next step is to strip off the tape and secure the back plate with some screws take the hot glue gun and put it on the rectangular take a lot of it because it should out a lot at the end it have to look like this the third last step is to secure the battery box first take some tape two strips of tape and secure the battery box at the back of the back side After that, take the hot glue gun and a big amount of glue at the back side of the battery box, not the side with the switch. Press the back plate onto the place where the hot glue is. Take the battery box out and tear the tapes to the side out so that they are free. Now the battery box fits and is perfectly centered. Take two small screws and screw the back plate to the case. The least step before programming is to finish the trigger mechanism. Take the hot glue gun for the last time and put some hot glue onto the cable with the magnet. Then let it dry and put the second cable between the two magnets so when the connection is lost the Arduino get a signal. nothing but if I make this if I take some random the alarm sound okay so prepare.